Hello, welcome back to another episode of Chai Chats where we grab a cup of tea or really any beverage of your choice and we have a conversation. Today we're gonna to be speaking about clarity because I feel like that's one of the biggest problems that are facing our young people of today. And I think it's a really important thing to talk about because I think not enough people, not enough organizations are talking about it. I think the conversation currently is on the topic of like mental health. And I think that's that, that's a really important conversation to have and I'm sure we're gonna have that conversation one day as well. But I think if like something that's, you know, that's you know, almost as important, I believe, is also getting clarity on what it is that you want to do in the future, what it is that you want to be in the future, and who it is that you want to be with. Like, there's so many different realms that clarity kind of exists, but I think this is a really important conversation because, and, and this, these, these are not just my thoughts, these are the thoughts of my friends that I've had conversations with and a few mentors in my life as well. If you figure out, like, if you gain clarity, what happens is I think you solve like 50% of the problem. And the reason why you solve 50% of the problem is because you end up focusing on your internal compass. Like, of course, you take advice from, you know, what's, what's happening around you and what people are saying, but you think and reflect on it and then you make your own decisions based on your own volition, right? You figure out what it is that you want in your head and in your mind and in your heart, and then you make your decisions about everything. And then when that happens, then you end up owning your future. You end up owning your present. And when you own these things, you go through life with a lot more empowerment. Think, think about it like this. I have a lot of friends that are, that are my age that end up skipping from course to course to course to course. And what happens here is, is like, they, they find out, they, they start something, they find out they don't enjoy it, and then they move to the next thing. And it's like, that's, that's all well and good, right? Because so many people do it. But the problem with that is, is that you end up wasting time, right? You end up wasting time. And then when you waste time, right? If you end up getting a year older, uh, or like two years older, like depending on how long you've been switching these things for. And not only that, you're getting a lot of debt as well, like financially, so it's like, you're not creating a very good track record for yourself. Like it's not, it's not something necessarily to be proud of. Um, now, keep in mind, like if, if you've done this, don't, don't take that as an attack or anything, but think about it like this. If you knew exactly what it was that you wanted to do when you were young, right, then you'd end up in a course or you end up in a career or you end up in a job that you're, that you're, that you're happy with. And then you stay with that for X amount of time and then you learn and you grow and you change. Of course, that doesn't mean that you're not gonna make mistakes, right? But the problem here is, is when you don't put an effort. I think very often people will tell you, oh, you know, you're so young, you got your whole life ahead of you to make, to make, to find out what it is that you wanna to do to find the right person and whatnot. And you know, that's all well and good. Like there isn't any rush. The problem is, is when we take that to mean, don't try. We take that to mean, don't think and reflect and figure out what it is that you wanna do. And when, when that happens, the, when the time comes to actually make the decision about our future, about that person that we want to be with, um, what we end up falling on is just the advice of what other people have said, could be good or bad, and you know whatever like whatever other external factors that end up conditioning your thinking like whether it be social media whether it be friends whether it be your parents right we end up taking their answers to questions and then we make a decision like like we make a decision based on that before we reflect right before we actually think about what's going on um and that's the problem that's like the really big problem um, because then what happens is when we make a decision based on what someone else has said and we don't take the time to reflect and think about and truly own the decision that we make, we can very, very often end up blaming them. So if you're a young person that's confused, I highly recommend and I encourage you to focus on gaining clarity. That doesn't mean that you have to be 110% clear on every single thing in your life. I feel like that's almost impossible, but I encourage you just to be a little bit more clear. Like be a little bit, a little bit more self-aware, so that you can save yourself time, money, um, and potentially heartbreak as well. My experience with clarity from the standpoint of Korea, I figured out what I wanted to do when I was like 17, and because I was clear on where I wanted to end up, like you know, being a speaker and all that, like because I was clear on where I wanted to end up, 
I could then, like, it, all of a sudden, the paths on how to get there became very clear as well. That doesn't mean that I wasn't confused as, you know, at certain points on, along the path. Of course I was, because there are many options, many ways of going about it. But when you're clear on the goal and like, you know, your purpose behind, you know, why you do what you do, then making decisions is almost very easy because it means that you know exactly what it is that you're striving for. And it's actually easier to make the harder decisions. Like for me, it was easier last year to put myself out there and make these YouTube videos because I knew what exactly it is that I wanted to do. Like I wanted to help people and this is one way of doing that and also expressing myself and then potentially making a career out of this. It's easy in the sense that like, you know, that leap of faith, it's not, it's not less scary, but it's more so the fact that you have more courage and, like, and you've got more bravery to actually take that leap and take that jump um, and do whatever it is that that you want to do. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it on clarity for me from my end. I just think it's a really important thing that, you, that, that people need to focus on, that young people especially need to focus on. Um, because my God, like I've not, I know so many people that could have saved so much time, so much money. If like, if you just, if, if you sat down for 10 minutes and you thought about your future, um, that's sometimes all it takes. And, and yeah, like you're not gonna, you're not gonna find answers straight away, but you'll find more answers trying uh, than not trying. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Have an amazing day, an amazing night, an amazing life, wherever you are in the world. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Catch you later, bye.